Hey babes, it's Marg Zapanta. Today I'm going to be doing a Miss Cracker makeup transformation. So I'm gonna go from Marg. Shabbat Shablam, she's a woman. So you guys, this is my Ms. Cracker RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 transformation. And I found out about Ms. Cracker through Review with a Jew when she was doing it on All Stars Season 3. And I'm still watching it. I think the series is amazing and I really, really love Ms. Cracker. She's one of the top picks for me to see her win this season and I'm really enjoying her a lot. I really tried with this look. I really did try with this look, I'm not gonna lie. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I really want this video to get to at least 500 likes and can we achieve that? Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it on Twitter and Instagram as well because I really want Miss Cracker to see this video. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe because Mama's working very hard to give you guys really good content, honestly. Um, mm, anything else? Just enjoy the video, guys. <laughs> So the first thing that we're going to do is pop on my wig cap and I am going to be following the two makeup tutorials transformations that Miss Cracker has done on YouTube. I will link the two videos that I was following down below. I want to cover up my 5 o'clock shadow using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in orange. I'm just going to apply this sort of you know, around here, around here. I know Miss Cracker doesn't really color correct, but I like to do this step for myself, you know? And I'm just going to be using my fingers to blend this out. I also like to color correct right under my eye bags, just because, you know, they're really, really purple. Just using my ring finger to blend this out. I'm using a ring finger to blend this out and drag is quite messy so I always make sure to have a makeup wipe right in front of me. Time for the foundation. I know that Ms. Cracker uses Krylon TV Paint Stick. I've got the shades in 5W and 2W but I think they're a little bit too pink for me so I'm gonna be using my F12 Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender that I've just cleaned off and I'm just going to pounce this onto the skin. Your glue stick is dry, you'll know because it's not wet or tacky anymore, it's just dry. I'm just going to cover them with my foundation stick. Now that I'd be looking like an egg, for the contour, I'm going to be using F14 from Makeup Revolution. I did a review on this, so if you guys want to watch that, I'll leave it down below. And I'm doing, I'm trying to replicate uh, Miss Cracker's face shape. So her face is a lot longer than mine, and she's got kind of like a heart-shaped face where it kind of like tapers down onto the chin. And she contours right here as well on the forehead. You want to use the tip of the beauty blender, angle it like that, and just blend your contour. I really enjoy Miss Cracker on this season of Drag Race, honestly. I feel like I haven't done drag makeup in quite a while, to be fair. Her performance has been really good in the competition. The only thing is, she hasn't won a challenge yet. And honestly, I really like... Um, Cameron as well. I really love her runway looks. I think they're great. Yeah, I've been loving Ms. Cracker and Cameron. Her looks are amazing. I think she's so creative and she creates a lot of the things that, you know, she wears and the hair that she um, wears on the runway are incredible. I'm going to be using Ben Nye's Clown White. I do believe that Ms. Cracker uses this as well. And I'm going to use my ring finger and my middle finger together and apply this where Ms. Cracker would apply it. So right here where the bone is, apply it right there. On the cheekbone, a lot of queens tend to go, you know, all the way in and all the way out, but doesn't look like Ms. Cracker be doing that. 
So we ain't gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be using a little brush and my clown white and I'm going to draw a straight line down my nose with this. Then I'm gonna draw a little dot right here. And then I'm gonna copy Ms. Cracker's nose. Ms. Cracker's nose tapers wide at the top and then tapers in at the bottom. And then she also draws a line right here below the white dot that I made. It's literally just like my nose is so different from hers. Mine is so flat that I need to do this. So <coughs> I think I just struck on some dick. Um, Miss Cracker be using Espon powder. If I look closely in the video, she's got an orange lid. This is the powder that she be using. So I'm gonna be using my Espon loose face powder to set my face. <laughs> Try not to breathe this in. And where the brows are, you wanna press with your sponge. You want a lot of powder in there to make sure that it stays in place. And then, once you've got that, you just wanna blend that out. I'm not being funny, but it's like 7.30 at night time and the kids playing outside my house and they should go home, to be honest. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna use Freedom Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown. Miss Cracker does guidelines on her face for the eyebrows, so I'm gonna do the same too. And Miss Cracker's eyebrows goes kind of straight out, so let's try and replicate that. I think I, <laughs> I think I went with um, too dark a color, because Miss Cracker's blonde, but we'll make do. Miss Cracker does a few different types of brows and what I'm the one I'm gonna do is the one where she has just a little hair just at the beginning. Let me use my powder just to go over that, just to make it a little bit lighter. <laughs> I hope this works. I'm gonna be using my NYX contour palette and just warm up that brow a little bit. And then I'm gonna clean up my eyebrows using my foundation and my clown wipe. You know, you guys, this is like one of my favorite steps. You wanna do your shade of foundation above the brow. You always wanna do above first just because you don't wanna mix the white in with the foundation color because then it'll just get a little bit messy. You see how much cleaner those eyebrows look? Ding, 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 ding. For the brows, you just want to clean up on the outer edge. So the eyes, I'm just going to go in with the same clown white and draw on my new lid shape. And I'm going to go in from the inner corner and draw sort of like a curved moon shape. Just gonna use my finger just to blend this out. You don't wanna blend in that, um, where you drew the curve, you just wanna blend the edges inwards, like this. Like that. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using my Barry and Glitter. This is in Moonstone. It's like a holographic silver. I'm gonna use my Go Get Glitter as my glitter glue because this is probably the best glitter glue out there. And sometimes Miss Cracker does a halo eye where the center part is the um, spotlight kind of um, center of attention sort of thing. 
but sometimes she does the inner corner look. From what it looks like, Ms. Cracker likes to use Makeup Geek eyeshadows, so I'm going to be using Makeup Geek eyeshadows as well. I'm going to use Motown eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to apply that into the crease and outwards. And then I'm going to be using the Zulu by Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette and use the pink shade right there. I'm using the same brush and I'm blending out the eyeshadow with this. Once you get to the outer part, I am going to be winging it out. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to be using my Barry M Liquid Liner just to line the eyes. So you're going to draw in a little line in the inner corner and then draw, draw outwards and then I'm going to draw the wing. You want to make it big like crackers. Then you want to bring it back. So now that you've done that, I am going to be using my Clown White again and apply that onto the lower waterline. A little bit on the inner corner of the lower lash line. I'm going to be using the same color that I used on the crease and apply that to the lower lash line. I'm going to use Corrupt Eyeshadow, which is a black, just the tiniest little bit, and I'm going to define the crease. Using the same colours from before, I'm just going to line the lower lash line. And you don't want to go too low with this, so you just want to start off with the purple, and then the black, and then the pink. I'm going to use my Rimmel Volume Shake and apply that as my mascara. Right, I made these lashes, and I tried to copy Ms. Cracker's eyelashes, these took me about 20 minutes to make with what I had. I don't even have any 301s to cut up or anything. I just used some, uh, <laughs> you know, real girl lashes. See, on the outer corner, I'm not applying it to my lash line. I'm applying it above my lash line. And on the inner corner, that's where you want to apply it closest to the lash line just to help it blend. But the outer corner, you want it to be lifted. And then on the lower lashes, I'm gonna be applying individuals. <gasps> what the? <sighs> what am I doing with my life, honestly? So, being the sponsors of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. Oh my gosh, is my mic on? Please tell me it's on. Okay. Whew. Guys, Cracker uses the Anastasia Contour Kit in Light to Medium. I'm going to use these two shades right here and contour the face. I'm going to go up here, downwards, just because that's kind of like Cracker's face shape. Just in general anyway, even without makeup. And on the forehead as well. For blush, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek blush in Secret Admirer. Ms. Cracker also uses Anastasia for this. This is just, you know, a Barbie pink. Apply that to the forehead as well, just to tie in all the colors together. Cute! So for the lips, I'm just lining my lips with my Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. And obviously we are overdrawing them. Honestly, this transformation is really, really hard. I feel like mine and Miss Cracker's face shape is really different, so this transformation is so hard and I don't feel like I look like Miss Cracker at all. I'm going to be using my PS Pro Kiss Proof Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in 
Nude in Private and my Mala Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lip Paint in Rome. Miss Cracker likes to use Queen Supreme by Jeffree Star, but I don't have that shade. So I'm just gonna kind of make do with what I've got. One more step, I'm just going to be using my Merry Luminizer and a tiny weirdo brush and highlight my skin. I'm kind of placing it where she places it, so just a stripe here. This is a shimmer highlight, and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Shabbat shablam, I'm going to change into my hair and my dress. Okay, Caitlin, it's time for dinner! This is the look that I created. I do feel a little bit Miss Cracker just because of this hair that I actually styled on my own. So I just tried to copy as best as I could. Honestly, I really would love it if Miss Cracker got to see this and, I don't know, tweeted it or just recognized my work in that way. Because I'm really enjoying her this season. I'm really rooting for her. I think she's sick. She's so talented. And I hope that this counts as fan art for you, Miss Cracker. Um, to be honest, my top three for Drag Race Season 10 are Eureka, Cameron Michaels, and Miss Cracker. To be honest, they are my favourites. I think they just bring it to you every ball. Let me know down below who your top three Drag Race Season 10 girls are. And they can be the ones that are already eliminated or the ones that are still in the competition. And comment down below as well if you want to see more Drag Race transformations and which Season 10 girls you'd like to see me do next. I would really love it if we can get this video to 500 likes. I would honestly be so happy. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I love you, all five of you.